Welcome to another exciting edition of Youth Ablaze. My name is Student Samson. Let us pray. Father, we ask for your presence and pray that you give us understanding as we search your word for answers in Jesus' name. Amen. Today we shall be examining this topic. How can a God of love send anybody to hell? If God is a, is a good God, how could he send people to hell? If truly God is a loving God, why will he allow souls to perish in hell? The truth is, God doesn't send anyone to hell. In fact, the Bible made us to know that God originally created hell for the devil and his angels. Why then do people still end up in hell? People end up in hell because they reject the Savior. God created us to have to choose to love him or not. Rejecting Christ, which is God's plan for redemption, signifies rebellion against God. In the book of 2 Peter 3 verse 9, it says, The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting any, anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. According to Acts 4 verse 12, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. The only way to salvation is accepting Christ as our Savior. The way to hell is rejecting Him. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Imagine how loving God is to send His Son to pay the price for our sins and iniquities by dying on the cross. To the Lord our God belong mercy and forgiveness, though we have rebelled against Him. God created us for eternity. Those who reject God and His free gift of salvation automatically reject heaven. And since there is nowhere else for them to go, then they must go to a place which is away from His goodness which is hell. He who believes in the Son has everlasting life, and he who does not believe the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. John 3 36. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. For if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The only way to heaven is through Jesus Christ. Why don't you surrender your life to Jesus today? Tomorrow may be too late. If you are ready to give your life to Jesus, say these prayers after me. Lord Jesus, come into my life. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. I believe in my heart you died and rose from the dead to save me. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put them in the comment section below. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.